because uh, you conk have got some nice stuff. But since then, no real heaven for me. So are we are we doing your final one for that one? Uh, it's his final one, I think. Oh, right. It's Ian's final one. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I see. There he is, being all binaural about it. Oh, what did... Have a think, any any ideas? Otherwise, it's not worth you being here. Uh, <laughs> just <laughs> let's have some fun with it. Yeah. Everybody, chuck some yeah, ideas yeah. in. Should we do some? We should do some Hammond. Yeah, and you hang about there, and we might say, look, let's stick this in there, and then oh. we have the erase button, which we can use any time we want. <laughs> right, uh -huh. yeah, we're just looking for um, nothing high. Yeah. Spooky dirt. Cool. Bad childhood. Yes. Oh, you never know what I might do. That tick, tick, tick. Thing. Yes. <laughs> going to happen any moment. All right. We're going to have some dirty volume pedal guitar with delays on it going. So cool. it's all going to be. Although, we're, by the time you come in, we, it might be a bit more up front. We'll see how it goes. Okay. But you need to play on the, all the way so out, I think, points. once we've. Obviously, yeah, you're in. Right. I know that's obvious. So. And that's. You want that pushed a bit, right? Don't know until I hear you play, yeah. Oh yeah, in terms of tonally, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah open it up. You know, really groove with the drum machine. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. easy, still down here. <laughs> Something we've just been recording uh, Hammond overdubs for the song we're working on. Who's playing the Hammond? Hi, I'm Paul Jobson. I'm the Hammond player on this session. So, uh, it, we had some fun setting up mics with the Leslie cabinet earlier on that I think Mike is gonna put into a different section and they had a mid-side configuration on those mics and they were cu quite close in. I was feeling insecure about coming along today because I don't have a big uh, locker of mics to bring along, but I do have the microphones I'm currently wearing, uh, which are these. So these are wearable, binaural microphones, so they just sit in your ears like in-ear headphones, but they, they don't make any noise, they capture the sound, and the point of them is that they capture the sound uh, with my head in the middle, and with my ears, so that the, so if you think of a sound that's coming from over here, it hits this microphone here, some of it gets into this microphone here, but it has to travel around my head while it does it, and through the shape of my ear, and all of that colours the sound in a way that gives us, when we listen back to it on headphones, clues uh, to get a really three-dimensional quality to the sound. So I was recording on a little Zoom handheld recorder, so I don't really have any idea how it sounds, although I played some to Mike earlier on, and he did the looking around thing, which tells you that you have that kind of real uh, being there feeling to the sound, which is what you're looking for with a, a binaural recording technique. So maybe we can fly those files back in and try adding them into the, the mix. I think the solo probably is gonna to need to direct sound, but maybe there was some atmospheric kind of chordy stuff that was recorded on another take. Perhaps we could use some of that. So yeah, these are really affordable. Um, they're great fun to play. The only thing is, if you're gonna record something as loud as a Hammond, you need to stuff something else in your ears before you put the headphones in so you don't go deaf. Um, and of course you can't sneeze or anything else. Oh, that's me. Oh, that's you. I'm Boris. I see. Have you got Michael in presence power? Might be just, just, just a try with the tremolo, so I don't have okay, to do mate. this. So you'll see what a tremolo can do. Just, just, Thank you. 
Oh, okay. Um, oh, I see. There he is, being all binaural about it.